Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of an injury update for you guys and just turn on the camera and just talk because I went to the doctor yesterday morning and I found out that I had yet another injury that I had no idea that happened when I had my crash. So for those of you guys who are new to my channel and are like, what are you talking about? I had a pretty good bike crash back in October at a bike park where I fractured some ribs and my back has just not been the same ever since then. And we're now going into March and since this happened back in October, I'm like, you know, something's not right here. This should not be taking my back this long to heal up. This, there's something else going on. So a lot of this I just attribute to, you know, I slammed my back really hard on rock. And I thought, you know, that's just a lot of trauma. I'm sure it just, it'll take time, but we've had a lot of time that has gone by now. And my ribs have since healed, you know, way back quite some time ago and I'm still having back pain. I'm having a lot of fatigue, just still achiness with my back. And I have a sore spot, which I'll get to in a minute on my spine. So the first time around when I went to the doctor, I pretty much knew, you know, 99% sure that I broke ribs and everything. And I told them right where it was, everything like that. And that's all they took x-rays of. They didn't take x-rays of my back or anything like that because at the time I didn't think I had anything else going on. I thought I just broke ribs and that's that. So this time around I decided to go see a doctor that specializes in the spine just to really try to see what was going on because it's been kind of concerning that I'm still having issues. Mind you too, for the longest time I was so out of alignment where this shoulder was dipping down and this shoulder was up and I'm like this is just kind of weird to have for a rib injury. So. I had a lot of, there's way more red flags than that, you know, with symptoms and everything, I should have put two and two together, but I didn't. I ended up getting x-rays of my back, you know, lower, mid, upper back, all different angles. They were really trying to get a good picture of what could be happening, what could be going on. So when the doctor came in, he was looking over my x-rays and everything, he was like, oh, you fractured your vertebrae. And then he just keeps going on, like talking about how straight my spine is, no sign of scoliosis. It's just a nice, beautiful, straight spine and just keeps talking and just glossed over that whole bit and like whoa, 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 like rewind a minute what did you just say and he was like yeah you, you you fractured your vertebrae but it's okay don't you don't need to worry about it it's healing up now like you'll be healed soon it's okay and i'm like no 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 that that's not okay you know that's that's my spine the good news is it he says it is almost healed there's nothing to worry about there um, I don't need to go to physical therapy or anything like that. So, you know, that's the good news, but it's still just extremely creepy. And also here's the kicker too, as he's looking at this, he's like, I think, you know, I, I would say, you know, you're probably okay to get back on your bike if you want to and you feel comfortable. And I'm thinking, and I don't even tell him any of this. I'm thinking, dude, I got back on my, I got back on my bike after five weeks of this accident. You know, I was back and I've since been on snowboarding trips. I have just been, you know, going and I've been walking around with a broken back pretty much. When he was examining me too, he was going along my spine and he would hit this one spot and I'd be like right there, super sensitive. And turns out that's exactly where the fracture was and everything. There's so many, so many things now that just make sense because when I would put cooling cream and things like that on to try to help with the achiness when this first happened, um, I would hit this one spot, I would run my fingers across and I would get this shoot, shooting, like deep burning sensation that would freak me out because that's on my spine. That's just freaky stuff. But I just kind of dismissed it thinking, you know, well, I'm sure it's just, maybe it's badly bruised like an idiot. Um, you know, thinking, I, because I did slam my back so hard, obviously. But, you know, I just, just, dismissed it this whole time. The funny thing too was I had friends at that time that were checking in on me, asking how my ribs were. I'm like, you know, like my ribs are okay, but I was like, the thing that no one tells you about breaking ribs is how bad your back hurts. <laughs> so that one crash caused me to fracture my vertebrae and fracture three ribs on top of it. So, you know, I'm just, you know, in all seriousness, I'm just so, so happy that I'm okay. Nothing bad happened. You know, it was, an injury that healed up by itself because you know you hear so much about these people that get spinal cord injuries and things like that and i think that's the thing that just really freaked me out when he told me you know even though i was you know i'm almost you know healed up and everything and i'm okay it's still just that scary factor of like you know something else could have happened you know that's just that's not an injury you want you know ribs are one thing i feel like no one wants broken ribs anyways but you know to have an injury 
like that is just, you know, that could easily go another way. Um, is just scary stuff. So totally okay. I'm, you know, almost healed up back there. My ribs, you know, that's been, that's been completely healed, you know, like I said, for quite some time now, but now it's just a matter of, you know, my back just healing up, which we're going on five months now. And it's still just, you know, I have achiness, a lot of fatigue. I can bathe my dog and just bending over like that to bathe her for that short amount of time. I just, it's like I've done some in, intense back workout. It's really crazy, but um, you know, it makes sense. It's not funny, but you know, you have to find the humor and everything, at least I do. And I think about, you know, I just got right back on my bike and rode down the mountain with a broken back, broken ribs and everything and just, you know, continued on. And I get down to the bottom and I'm just like, I might be injured. <laughs> Cause that's just me, just insane. Since all this has happened, I've went out and I've bought a back and chest protector and that's for just, you know, really downhill rides, bike parks, that kind of thing. Some, you know, intense trails that I plan on doing, I'll just always reach for that. And then for my everyday riding, I have another one that I always just wear at all times. If I'm going on any type of trail, it doesn't matter how easy or how, how hard it is. I just always have something to protect my back now because I think that was just, an eye-opening experience that, you know, it could happen to any of us. At the end of the day, this didn't even have to happen at a bike park. It could have happened on any trail I was on. You know, things, freak things like that happen. So I'm just very, very, very fortunate that I'm okay, it's fine. Um, but I'm just like, oh my God, we're in February and I'm finding out about this is crazy. Um, but anyways, it probably, if I had known I had this, I would have scaled back greatly. Tara gone snowboarding. And I think about, you know, I've had like two crashes, two pretty good crashes on my snowboard this season already. Like, you know, where, you know, I wiped out pretty good, totally fine, no injuries or anything like that. But just that impact on my body, knowing that this happened, I'm just like, Oh man, I would have not probably have done all that I've done. We have just been living over here with broken back. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to quit rambling, but I just decided I was like, I have to turn on the camera and give you guys this update because this is crazy. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone stay safe out there. Wear your protective gear at all times. Thank you guys for all your support and everything. And like I said, completely fine. No one has to worry about me. I'm absolutely fine. You know, this is behind us, but it's just like knowing all this now, I'm like, whoa. But um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.